Artists working together on exhibitions is hardly new. It happens all the time. But this exhibition in York is a little different. The two artists who have come together are worlds apart. Kathy Hart from York is working with Abdul Aziz, a Syrian refugee. I met him when he was 17. He'd literally just arrived probably about um, six, seven weeks before I did. And he was just a lovely young man who was volunteering, giving his um, free time to help doctors uh, translate into, from English into Kurdish, Farsi, all of the languages that he can speak. Um, and I met him because he was an artist, is an artist, and he needed a creative outlet. He was feeling a little bit stifled and restricted. Of course, he's living in a tent. He's got no access to computers, cameras or anything. Um, and I'm there doing photography to help share the story. And I hear of his story and I'm like, well, you can come and meet me. You can use my computer. You can play and create a Photoshop piece of your own just to give him something creative to do, to be a bit more freedom. Um, so he started this piece that we have behind us, that's the collaboration between the two. And when you see the person standing, um, spread open arms with a bomb explosion going off above him, that was his start to the piece. And then I included um, the bottom of the manipulation, which is the real photos from Idomeni. So open the borders is actually sprayed onto the end of, the, of a tent. And that's what you can see in the photo. Um, so it is part reality, part manipulation, but it's a political piece talking about the freedoms and the, the devastation of being a re refugee. Kathy met Abdul Aziz when working for a charity she set up with her friends called Refugee Start. Well, a number of years ago, um, my partner and I were always hol holidaying on Lesbos. And at the time, there was a massive exodus coming from Turkey over to Greece. Um, the border between Turkey and northern Greece is incredibly small to the northern shores of Lesbos. Uh, it's a distance that's why they cover uh, and come by rubber boats. The thing that's shocking about it is that when we arrived at Lesbos by aeroplane and you look at the coast, the entire coast was orange with life jackets. And it's at that point you start to realise just how many people are trying to cross those dangerous waters. Um, and it's all throughout the year, it's not just summertime, they come in the middle of winter as well. So when we saw that, and when we were travelling by bus through the middle of Lesbos, we were going down a highway that's 80, 100, mile, 100 kilometres an hour, which is like 70 miles an hour here, of really fast traffic. And these are people who don't have any shelter, they're in t-shirts, raggedy shorts, broken shoes, having to walk a distance, say, from York to Birmingham with no food, no water, no provisions, they're sleeping on the side of the road. How can you walk away from that? And so my partner, myself, a couple of our friends all banded together and made a charity, and that's what we call Refugee Start. Working in the camp is sometimes quite dangerous for refugees and workers. Kathy shares one of her experiences. And it was the day of an uprising and a demonstration saying, why, do, why don't we open the borders? Why, why are they closed to us? Why can other people travel and we can't? What, why are our, our rights being denied? Um, what's not known behind this photo is that my partner took this and uh, we were travelling and volunteering with our daughter. So I stayed behind with our daughter to make sure she was safe. Um, and I was safe and my partner was brave enough to go to the front. The time that she went, it was a very, very peaceful demonstration. Everybody was sat and quiet. Um, a few minutes later, I have this guy. Um, and the thing that you need to know about refugees is that they call you my friend. And so my friend came running up, saw that my, myself and my daughter were sat by the train, sheltering from the boiling heat. And he said, up, leave. That's all the English that he could speak in that short space of time. Two minutes later, my partner comes running up and says, we've got to leave. At that time, we can hear that the voices are rising and we were safe at the volunteer camp, um, which is a little hotel just a few miles down the road. And we see that a massive demonstration has arisen and that tear gas is being sprayed into the camp. Um, so because my friend, my anonymous refugee friend, ensured my safety, 
I would like to help them gain their safety and their freedom. So this is why we have this exhibition for Refugee Week. The exhibition is in the main entrance hall at West Officers, where you can see the photos free of charge until the 12th of July. Matthew Brannan, That's TV.